We live in a dystopian movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that sounds, sounds so cliche, so... but it's true. At least to me it is. I, I went to a shower, a stag party of my daughter's friend this weekend in Buffalo. Everyone there was in their 30s for the most part. But what upset me? The plastic single-use cutlery for the mostly unhealthy food, although they thankfully provided a decent salad. Oh, and you can't forget the plastic cups and stirs. I literally had to go to the bathroom and cry over cutlery. Just imagine all that plastic multiplied by millions of people having parties. At least in the U.S., since it is summer after all. Single-use destined for landfills. Cutlery. Aren't people reading about PFAS and plastic pollution in the oceans? Do they even care? Can't anyone wash a dish anymore? These are one of the things that make me a doomer. Being a doomer is like living the F word. We feel the clusterfuck of what humanity has wrought on this planet. I didn't always. When I was in my research HR administrator career, I kind of bought the BS that natural gas was clean, even though I knew what was happening to people's wells not far away in Warren County, PA. I thought electric stoves were inferior. I had to have a gas stove. And I knew the horrors of fracking. I still bought a pickup truck, knowing it wasn't the most environmentally friendly choice. My rationale was, well, I live in the boonies and I need to bring my trash to the dump. What am I going to do that in a Prius? Of course, it didn't help that my husband at the time cheered on the pickup truck. So I deluded myself and I bought it anyway. Okay, it was in 2017 and I only have 58,000 miles on it. But does that matter? Yeah, it would be less if I didn't have to travel for doctor's appointments, which I make the pilgrimage to every six weeks so that I can manage my chronic, sometimes debilitating pain. Now, that's a whole other topic, and I'm not going to go into that here. But I do feel guilty a lot. I feel guilty for not understanding sooner my role, my own role in this mess. Beating myself up, though, it's not going to help, but I do it anyway. I'm a consumer after all. I always have been. Amazon still comes to my house. My rationale for that? Oh, these folks have a job. They will be driving anyway. There are smaller companies supporting families selling the shit I think I need to run this little homestead of mine, and I don't have to burn gas or even leave my place. So it's the life of convenience. Despite my knowledge of the clusterfuck this planet is in, I'm all in. I constantly delude myself. We all do. How can we not? We all live somewhere with the exception of the homeless in the U.S. who have been relegated to the streets of big cities because of the greed of the 1% and corporations. I can't speak with authority on other countries since I am a resident of the U.S. I have seen this for myself. The rest of us, we live somewhere. Whether it's a yurt, an apartment building, or a stick-built home, there is maintenance involved. And it's been designated that way. Designated, designed, pointed us towards. You know, you all understand planned obsolescence. We Westerners live in planned obsolescence dystopia. To get back to the beginning of this, didn't Edward Bernays tell the American mind that our purchase power would lead to happiness? Hasn't that been the Western government mantra of growth? What has it really led to? A lacking moral compass, bankruptcies, obesity, illness, global warming, ecocide, and all the other trappings of westernized 21st century life on planet Earth. I was one of those people who Bernays targeted, and for a long time it worked. Is it still working? That's the whole point to this. I wrestle with those questions all the time, as if I really have any power to change the trajectory towards extinction of living beings on this planet. I have no control over anything, even myself at times. Is that by design? <laughs>